You know, he kicked him at gym, you know, if I can help him out in the boxing skills. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's like me crossing over at MMA. It's like something different, something new. I've been used to doing the boxing to me for a long time, since 77. And I uh, said, yeah, sure, I'll help you out, you know. Hopefully, you know, anything I can teach him will help him out on his fight because he does, you know, like stand up and on the ground and all that stuff, you know. The other part was these other coaches want to help him out, you know. I'm going to help him out on the boxing skills, so hopefully I can help him out in, in his fight. This is Adrian Hernandez here with Danny Lloyd. Uh, Danny, you got a big uh, upcoming bout next week, MMA bout, uh, in Victoria, Texas, in uh, STFC. Can you uh, talk to us about this upcoming bout that you have? Um, it's going to be my first time in the cage. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, this guy I'm fighting uh, is off from San Antonio. He's a really good striker, good kicks, heavy hands. Okay. Now, uh, like I said, you're an MMA fighter, but for this upcoming bout, um, you're switching it up, and you've uh, hired uh, head boxing coach here in Brownsville, Texas, Robert Campos, to help you out with your uh, with your boxing skills. You know, can you talk to us about that? Yeah, man. Uh, I've been wanting to join ever since I was uh, 16, but uh, I joined MMA instead. And you know, I spoke to my coach and I told him, you know what, I want to go to another school to gain some more skills, you know, stuff like that. But still stick to him, you know, my head coach. I, uh, you know, I heard about Robert a lot back in the past, so uh, came to try it out finally. Uh, and, you know, I really like it here, man. Okay. Now, uh, what are some of the things that uh, Robert has been able to implement into your uh, MMA game, you know, um, being that he's, you know, strictly boxing? Uh, well, a lot of combinations, a lot of footwork. Uh, I've been working a lot on the speed, a lot of agility, cardio, and stuff like that. Okay. How do you feel about your, your boxing skills, you know, before Robert and now that you're with uh, Robert Campos? Well, I've been learning fast, man. Uh, my boxing skills, they've been upgrading big time. I'm a quick learner. Uh, well, back then, you know, I've been doing MMA for four years already. Uh, I already don't, you know, we didn't do much boxing, but we do, uh, we do do stand-up. But uh, I know coming here to boxing, it's going to be a lot different, you know, a lot of footwork, a lot of more skills. Okay. Um, now, if you had to talk, I'm sorry, if you had to talk about your uh, your style, you know, what... What, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the ground game or do you prefer uh, stand-up? I prefer the ground game because, uh, you know, that's what I'm good at. I'm a good wrestler. But uh, I'm not afraid to stand. I'm not afraid to stand up uh, knowing that my boxing skills upgraded. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you know, what do you look forward to the most coming into this bout next weekend? Well, I look forward to victory. I look forward to that. And I hope this guy's prepared because I'm coming. All right. All right, is there anything you want to say before we close to all the fans who supported you throughout your whole career? Yeah, uh, I just want to thank Atria Fitness Crew, my trainer, head coach Steve Berlanga. Thanks to Robert Kako, you know, as well. Uh, thanks to my family and friends. Yeah. All right, Danny, well, uh, thank you for the interview, and uh, best of luck next weekend.